I created a use case with one of my favorite features that is that's the Excel ones. And it's tailored around my folder here on my desktop, which contains an Excel book called Car Loans. It looks like this. So this Excel sheet has uh, this Excel book has two sheets, employee car loan and license plates. What I want to do is imagine I have a company and my employees, they can borrow a car from me for one day. That is the date here. Then they need to fill in their name and the license plate of that car. Now I want to know which car corresponds to this license plate. So I'll do a lookup. I'll say uh, the value that needs to go into this uh, column, this row and column, that will be that the value that corresponds to this license plate. So I'll do a lookup, VLOOKUP in this license plate sheet. So for example, the first one that was the CC46643, that will be a Lamborghini. So then I need to update this field with a Lamborghini and I'll need to do it for all these rows. We can do it in Excel with a VLOOKUP and now I want to show you how easy it is to create the automation in UiPath and we can make it dynamic so it will update every time we have new employee car loans. So uh, the first thing I need to do, I go to UiPath and in case you have a fresh UiPath installed, you don't need to do nothing. But if you have updated, it might, uh, you might not have the modern design experience enabled. So make sure you go to settings then go to design and make sure you have the use modern for new project enabled. That is this one here. So if I go back, I can now create my process. So in start, click process here and we can give it a name. We can also have it a location. So let's start with the location. I want to have the process placed in my desktop folder here. So I click this folder. Then I go to desktop, I find the folder here and I just click select folder. Now we have the location. Let's give it a descriptive name. I can call it car loan. can also choose a description. That's fine. One of the new features of 2021-10 is the compatibility. If you don't know what it is, just ignore it. But it is a nice feature that can take advantage of the 64-bit process Windows uh, processes. So in case you want a bit more a faster uh, process, then we will choose the Windows here. But be aware that it's not backwards compatible. So uh, in case you don't know what you do or you're in a company, choose the Windows legacy. Then there's a language. The default language of UiPath is VB and we will let it be here. We will not choose C Sharp. The two languages, they are very similar, but all the documentation, the videos on the UiPath Academy, the forum help, everything is almost exclusively in VB. So there's no reason to choose C Sharp unless you really need to. You have a special reason for it. Now I click create. So we create our process. The first thing that we will do is to read our Excel book in here in my process. So I'll search for Excel. That's it. I'll scroll a little bit down and then find an Excel process scope and drag it in. Here I can now specify that I want to open up a specific Excel file and to do so I'll use the use Excel file. If you can't find it, just search for use Excel file up here where we search for Excel. So now I drag in the use Excel file like this. I need a workbook path and the workbook path uh, that I have that was here in my desktop folder. It was this Excel sheet. You can also see that we UiPath has created the directory of the UiPath files, which is here, but we will need this Excel file. So I shift right click and then a copy as path emerges. So I'll re left click there and now I have the path of this Excel sheet copied into my um, windows here. I can now paste it in by either control V like this. This one pasted it in in quotation marks. That's fine. Then I need to choose a reference. So referring to this Excel uh, book uh, later in my workflow is has now been named Excel. But imagine that we have 10 different Excel workbooks. This might not be very clever because then it will be, get really messy if we don't have a more descriptive name. So I'll call this car loans. You can use underscores or concatenating words. You cannot use spaces here in the reference. 
that's it. So now we can start iterating through each one of our rows here in the employee car loan and do the VLOOKUP for this field in the license plates. Let's see how it's done. So to do so, we will find a for, for each Excel row like this and drag it in. What this does, it, it actually say, almost say what it does, it just uh, take for each one of these rows. So what we'll do here, the current row, that is a fixed name, we can call it whatever we want. That is just to refer that uh, we are, the current row will first be here, 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 here. So that is used as a reference. Then we need to specify where, what, what Excel sheet do we want to iterate through. So if I click the plus sign over here to the right, I can see that now my car loans uh, Excel book shows up. That's quite clever. Here I can either choose to indicate it or choose an entire, entire sheet. I will just choose the entire employee car loan. So I click here and you can see that it automatically updated with the code here without me even doing any code. That was this sheet here. Then I need to specify that my sheet has headers because it does date, employee name, license plate and car. That's it. Then, uh, so now we're iterating through and for each one of these rows, we will do a VLOOKUP. So a VLOOKUP can be found up here in activities. If I search for VLOOKUP, I drag it in. And uh, what value do we need to uh, look up? That is for, for the Q and row, that is the row that we're in. First it's this one, then it's this one, this one. And we need to look up what's ever in the license plate column. So if I go here and I can again click the plus sign, then I'll say Q and row and there it is, the license plate column. So this one will just take what's ever in the license plate and look that up. So and here, where do I want to look up that value? Well, that will be the uh, license plate sheets. Right, so here we have this uh, these uh, cars. So if I go here, then I'll choose the um, uh, plus sign and the car loans, and I'll choose the license plates like this. Now I just need to say in what column index uh, uh, do I want to find the value. So it looks up here, but I want the car value back. I don't want this the same value back. So I'll choose the second column: one, two, three. So I'll just type in two here and I'll make an exact match that is equal to zero and one when you do the VLOOKUP in Excel, by the way. Then I just need to say, where do I want to save it to? Well, I want to save it back to the employee car loan, that is the car, and I want to do it in the Q and row. So if I'm here, I want to save it here. To do so, yeah, you guessed it. Just click the plus here, then click the Q and row and take the car. That's it. Now we have created a simple VLOOKUP automation that looks up a license plate and updated the corresponding car field. So let me close down the Excel sheet. I can just save it, that's fine, and run our awesome automation. So I click Run File. UiPath will run for a few seconds and it will uh, mostly, uh, or it will uh, not most likely, it will definitely update it with the corresponding cars. Isn't that nice? So for example, if you want to check, is the BB45876 a RAM? Uh, BB45876 is definitely a RAM. That's fine. But shouldn't we get the model uh, with here as well? So if I made a model column in our Excel sheet like this, then just delete these just to see that we can create a, an automation that updates both columns. So I'll save it here. And if I go back to my UiPath automation, and let me close this one down. What I need to do now here is I can just, I can either use another VLOOKUP or I can just copy this one here because we only need some minor changes to this. So what I do here is that I'll put it in again. So I want to look up the license plate again in the license plate sheet. And now we need the model, so that will be column three. And then uh, I want to update uh, not the car column field, but the model like this. So that's it. That's how easy it is to um, copy an activity. We just need to modify a small, small bit. And that was just names and a column index. Let me show you. So now I run my automation again. UiPath will run for a few seconds and let me go 
back to my Excel sheets here. And we can now see that Lamborghini Aventador, Seat Leon, Nissan Rogue, Ford Focus and all that, we now have cars and models in our Excel sheet. I only have one problem now. As an owner of the company, I don't want an employee that will take my name. I want a warning in my Excel sheet. My car is a Seat Leon. So let's just try to color this uh, row if, or whatever row, if an employee has taken my car. To do so, we can, um, uh, let me close down this again. We can find a format cells. So if um, we, uh, we, we find out that, um, for example, the model is a Leon, then we will color our cells. The first thing that we'll do is that we'll find an if like this and drag it in. And we will do it for each one of the rows. So make sure you are in the for each Excel rows. So we want to ask, is the current row, the model after we filled it in, is that a Leon? So I'll copy this expression here and then I'll put it in. So now I need to ask, is this model, is that equal to, in quotation marks, Leon? Then uh, yes, then we can. Then we will perform the actions in here. Else we won't perform the actions in here. Then we will just ignore this if block. So I wanted it to color it red. So if I go up here and search for a format cells, that's this one here. So I'll drag it in format cells. So where do I want to format? I want to format the current row. So I want to paint that, for example, red. So I click the plus here and choose the current row. Again, it's automatically chosen. I don't have to write any fancy code. Then I format data as type, I'll set the format here. Then I choose fill. And uh, for now it's transparent, but I can now choose a lot of colors. Why not choose magenta? I like magenta. So then I'll choose okay. And I can try to run my awesome automation once more. So now I run my automation and let me show you, I open up the Excel sheets and now uh, Bianca uh, and her uh, row, her entry in the employee car loans has been paid at Magenta. That's it, that's how easy and how awesome UiPath has gotten with the new 2021 10 features.